Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. So today I'm going to be talking about my best home remedy for Bartholin cysts. Now I know I already did a video on this, but I didn't realize how much of a popular topic it was and how many people were going through it. So I noticed like a lot of people were searching um, my video. I decided to do an updated one, higher quality. That one was taken on my phone, so excuse you know the re-upload or whatever but this one is going to be packed with information i've dealt with bartholin cyst a few times and i've kind of come up with my own um method that i use to get it to drain within 24 hours this always works for me hands down so um this is my method so if you're interested keep on watching in order to know what a bartholin cyst is you need to know what bartholin glands are now, I didn't learn this in high school. I didn't learn this in anatomy. I didn't learn this until I found out that I had a Bartholin cyst. Bartholin glands are two glands on either side of your vagina. So basically, as a woman, your body has like a natural lubricant, okay? Your body produces a natural lubricant that comes out of these glands to prepare yourself for sexual intercourse and whatnot. Those glands are what provide that moisture because you do not want to have sexual intercourse with a dry vagina because that could cause injuries this is why foreplay is important okay what a cyst is is basically when that gland when one or both of those glands gets blocked by something this could be caused by injury this could be caused by infection and then it forms into a cyst and you'll notice this might be a little pea size um cyst and it could gradually get bigger because the fluid has nowhere to go so it's just gonna keep building up and building up and building up until it forms into a bigger cyst and this is where it can get really really painful um, there are so many different causes for everyone. Everyone is different. Number one, this is not an STD. This is not an STI. You didn't get it from anybody. Like, let's just throw this out the way. This is nothing to be ashamed of. This is something that happens naturally. I don't know why it happens, but here are some of the potential causes. Some people believe that they get theirs from their pads. Just a bonus tip here, please do not use scented pads. Like, just don't. I don't even know why they still sell those. The scents could mess up not only your pH balance, the fumes could really like try to trigger your Bartholin gland and stuff like that. Um, certain brands, um, I think last year I saw on Twitter somebody was complaining about always, always, now this is allegedly like i ain't got like i still use always i'm not even gonna lie i still use always they're affordable you know they get the job done whatever but there was an accusation that always pads um were causing rashes and bartholin cysts for certain women i haven't experienced that um i have stopped using always just to see if that was the problem, but I was still getting them either way. Um, so I concluded that maybe that wasn't the particular issue for me. But just so you guys are aware, just so you guys are aware, um, I would definitely steer towards more organic products. There are women who get Bartholin cysts when they are pregnant. You already going through so much. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why um you gotta go through this too there are some women who get it from rough intercourse like I said some people have a cyst and they don't even know it until you know they get injured even more or something even triggers it to start being painful way you can have a cyst and it might not even be painful it just might be there maybe you noticed it like you know maybe you're looking down there and you notice like something's looking a little different you can have a cyst and it not be painful that's how I was my first time I had a cyst for pretty much like I think a year if not more I had the cyst I noticed it I saw it I even talked to my mom about it um but you know Google and you know your doctors will probably tell you if it's not causing any problems you probably don't need to worry about it but just so you guys know that even if you have a cyst and it's not painful right now it's not causing you any problems this video should be helpful for you because it might cause problems in the future because that's what happened to me I didn't worry about it for two years and then last summer boom that I had the cyst for about two I think I had it for at least at most two years last summer I was on vacation I was coming back from out of the country got on an airplane and it just started progressing and getting worse um this was like on a thursday by the way so from thursday to saturday it was bad like 
like Friday night I went to a program and I couldn't even enjoy it. It was a good program. It was wonderful. I couldn't even enjoy it. Standing up was painful. Sitting down was painful. Walking was painful. I was literally walking like a penguin, y'all. It was, it was terrible absolutely terrible i was complaining the entire time I told my friend i think friday night i think i told i told her i was like i think i'm gonna go to the hospital i was doing sits baths right, so i got home from you know my trip thursday night i started doing sits baths friday morning i did one in the middle of the day and then i did one at night and then i did one saturday morning and you know nothing was working long story short I ended up in the hospital. Saturday night I went to sleep. I did a sits bath before I went to sleep and I woke up at three o'clock in the morning in absolute shambles. Like it, it wasn't even like painful anymore. It was like somebody was just like stabbing me in the vagina with a knife. So I went to my parents' room and I was just like, it's three o'clock in the morning y'all. I'm just like, And my dad was like, okay. <laughs> but I was like, okay, um, we're going to the hospital. I was in the hospital for three days. I was scheduled for a surgery. They told me I was very sick. I even had like a mild fever and whatnot. It had turned into an abscess, um, which is something that you do not want it to get to because once it gets to an abscess, like it's unbearable. I couldn't sit, I couldn't walk, I couldn't stand on my own. Um, they had to give me painkillers i they put me on percocet girl and actually that did work for me because they gave me percocet and i could i couldn't feel nothing whoa i do not feel nothing then it came back it wore off but you know whatever so um it did end up joining before my surgery so i didn't have to get the surgery i immediately felt better like i was like I, I, I was completely fine once it drained i was fine here i am you know i'm out of the hospital i'm feeling better and yeah 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 i'm going back my life three months later it comes back and i was just like you how you are you just have to say that you're fine So, so far, I've had it ever since five times. Listen, I told you I stayed in the hospital for three days. Hospital trip cost me $8,000. Yeah. This cost $5. All right? <laughs> Baby, this is what I use. It is called Prid. It is a homeopathic drawing salve, okay? Honey, I'm going to tell you this is the truth. Hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. Listen. So think of it, think of a cyst as like a pimple. If you see a pimple popping up on your face, it's still underneath the surface. You wouldn't go and pop it, right? Because it's still underneath the surface. It doesn't have like a head. It doesn't have anywhere for the pus and stuff to go. It needs like somewhere on the surface to come out. So your cyst is pretty much underneath the surface and it needs to come to the surface so that it could come out if you see a head for now you're gonna need a mirror for this okay mirror. all right honey you're gonna take that mirror you're gonna look down there if you see a head just like the way you would see like a pimple head you're gonna look down there to try to find the head it's usually under the labia minora i don't know what side your sister is probably on i always get mine on the right side that's what i've always noticed it's usually under the labia minora of whichever side your cyst is on. You're going to try to look. If you don't see anything, then you, do, you need to do a sits bath. Using this alone isn't going to work. And that's what I've noticed. Sometimes I use this and it works. You know what I'm saying? But that's only when I have a head to my cyst. If my cyst doesn't have a head, using this isn't going to work for me. You're going to go. You're going to take a sits bath. Um, you can get those sits bath bowls at like Walgreens and CVS. They've been Walmart as well even order them off of amazon if you need to you know with everything going on right now you might want to do that <laughs> that's maybe soaking it for like 10 to 15 minutes um and after you do this it's bath you're gonna apply this to the area um where the head should be popping up if you do a sits bath and your head is not popping up do another one do another sits bath like i'm trying to tell you now when I do my cyst bath, I don't really sit in the water. 
I sit over the water and let the steam do its thing. I boil some hot water, I put it in the, ba in the, in the bowl, I sit on top of it, I let the steam do its thing. I even sometimes put a towel over my, you know, legs to keep the steam, come, you know, in. A high pain tolerance so I don't really care obviously I'm not gonna burn myself but I try to do as hot as I possibly can I wait for it to cool down obviously but, you know, whatever. like I just want this thing going you know this ain't gonna ruin my day <laughs> okay so after I do the sits bath or shall I say steam bath because I don't sit in the water I just sit over it and how much time you have in the day if you have you know if you're not doing anything you might want to do a sits bath depends on how the faster you want this thing gone is the more times you're gonna do the bath okay the more times you're gonna apply this the more times you're gonna do the bath the faster you want it gone you know don't just think like oh i'm gonna do a sits bath once and it's gonna be sits bath once and i'm gonna do this put this on once and it's gonna be gone the faster you want it gone the more times you're gonna do it one time one day where I did it back to back, put some water, put it in the thing, and then I put some water back on the stove and boiled it again, j just so when I'm finished with this one, I'm gonna do it back to back. And on the second one, it popped, it drank, boom, it was done. Like, I was just like, I'm not gonna let this ruin my day, for what? I have work, I have school, I don't have time for this. Girl, I got you, I got you. Steam bath, keep doing the steam bath. If you see the head, you you need to look at your vagina, sis. You need to look at it. <laughs> So you need to look at it, all right? So then you're gonna take this, you're gonna take a generous amount, not the whole thing, you don't wanna waste it, it's $5. Go, you're gonna apply it on the area, you're gonna wanna wear a pad, all right? You're gonna wanna wear a pad um, because, you know, if it does drain, you don't wanna like dirty your, your panties and whatnot. Um, once it drains, if you are in pain, once it drains, you're gonna feel immediate relief. I'm trying to tell you, once it drains, you're going to feel so much better. If I see a head, I just apply this and I'm done. I usually, it usually drains like the same night if I see a head. I do not see a head for the cyst. I am going to do a steam bath or steam soak, steam whatever you want to call it. After that, I apply the print. I wear a pad. It usually drains within 24 hours. The faster you want it to work, the faster you want this to go away, the more times you're going to do it. I usually do, you know, if I'm sitting at home, I'm not doing anything. If I don't have work or school that day, I'm just going to go ahead and do it. Try to do it back to back as many times as possible. If you do have work, if you do have school, try to do a sits bath before work, one after work, this during the day, once you when you're going to work, um, and apply this at night if it still hasn't popped yet. Um, also wear a pad, um, you don't want to soil your panties. So that's my way. PSA, if you if this is something that you're constantly going through and you really need more answers that maybe this video hasn't provided for you, um, if you have a Facebook, there are two main groups for this there are two main groups for birth analysis um, support that you can join. They talk about all types of things, like all different types of methods, all different types of remedies, all different type of types of preventative measures, um, as well as some people who have had like sur surgery to get the gland removed. You know, I'm possibly thinking about getting my gland removed because I'm just like at this point, you know, if you found this video helpful make sure you like and subscribe i will be posting more content soon and more related videos soon let's have a discussion down in the comment section what are your methods um to drain bartholin cysts and definitely make sure to comment if this method worked for you so thank you guys for watching my video and i'll see you in the next one <laughs> don't forget to subscribe